Why is there seven plates up there? I have two, One four, pork six. and two beef. What is this? Amanda, yes, how many dishes are in front? There's seven dishes, chef. Unbelievable. Yo, know, what the fuck is there seven up there for? Where's the extra dish coming from? Frank, you did chicken and beef? Yeah. Amanda told us she was doing beef. This is not good. What have we got? We got three beef, chef. And that's the best you can do for her. Can you just get your shit together? This is embarrassing. Everybody knew I was doing this ribeye. Let's do some math. I just want two beef dishes. Come on. Yeah. We're keeping the steak, Diane, and we'll keep that one right there. That's it. Done. Okay. I don't know if Frank has a problem with me or females in general, but what am I, fucking chopped liver? Let's begin with the hot seafood appetizers. Bring them up, please. Bryce and Chef Andy will select one of the four appetizers to feature on their wedding reception menu. Thank you. First up. Ariel, let's start off with your seafood appetizer. I did a grilled piece of squid stuffed with lobster claw. Andy, what do you think visually? It's really opaque looking. Slightly phallic in terms of looks like the bison's penis. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to say that. Not the most attractive. It's an aphrodisiac. You didn't cook the squid enough. It's still raw, it's very chewy. Yeah, Bryce? Yeah, it's just kind of off-putting yeah. visually. That's not a good start. Next up is Kristen's shrimp tempura with leek puree. How was that, though? Really good. It's really nice and light. Thank you, Chef. I think the shrimp's cooked beautifully. Thank you. Good job. Mwah. And now it's the battle of the two Italians, Roe versus Frank. By the way, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. And their manicotti. I did uh, a little bit of risotto, pignoli nuts, raisins, and just a simple tomato sauce. Very tasty. Remind me my grandmother when used to make this, yeah. you know. A rustic dish. Right, please. I did uh, some hot sausage. There's grilled eggplant inside there as well. Love the presentation, all the ingredients. They all make sense. If I have to heat right now, I have to pick one of them. Look at Please see. Woo! Woo! Thank you very much. Very good. It's not old. Good job, Frank. Mwah! Mwah! Two types of the dish. I have a uh, chickpea dumpling. It's in a very light fennel broth. And then I have a uh, ginger butter tofu. I'm feeling the pressure right now. I put my all into this one dish. Tofu, I've never been a big fan of. Up until now. Oh, my god. Mwah. <laughs> the broth is delicious. Thank you, Chef. Dumplings could be a little bit softer inside, but a clever usage of the vegetables. Good job. Thank you so really much. Really good. Thank you. Next up, Millie, let's go. Millie has prepared a ricotta and spinach souffle. Wow. Why souffle? It's a uh, way that I introduce vegetables to my son. So your son inspired you for this dish? Yes. Um, how old is he? 15 now. 15? Yes. And when you were 15, were you eating souffles? <laughs> oh, way. Oh, uh, man, I was sharing. Sharing Chinese store platters with me and my boys. You're sharing Chinese? Well, like a Chinese takeaway to go? Yes, yeah. Everything that I ever went through, not having food, not having money. I think about it every day. This is for my boy. I want to show my son hard work pays off. Here's the thing. It doesn't look that appetizing. Yes. Seriously? But it tastes delicious. Thank you. Wow. Your son's a lucky man. <laughs> Good job. I appreciate it. Next up, uh, Megan, let's go, please. Describe the dish, please. I have a zucchini angel hair pasta with Napa cabbage, mushroom dumplings, and a coconut broth. And why angel hair? It's a play on pasta. A zucchini is not the most uh, exciting on veg. However, you've lifted it. Love the idea of that angel hair. Thank you, Shane. It's got finesse. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Pretty good job. OK, uh, Michelle, please describe All your dish. Right. I have mm -hmm. a vegetable hash that has red pepper, zucchini, squash, and little potatoes. And then it's an egg souffle. I separated the whites and the yolks, whipped up the whites, put it in a ramekin, put the yolk back in, more whites on top, and I steamed it, and then topped it with some micros. Um, you don't like the word simple, do you? <laughs> no, chef. Doesn't look like a dinner entree. Yes, looks chef. more like a breakfast dish. Yes, chef. The eggs cook perfectly. It is something definitely a vegetarian would love. It's almost like a Sunday brunch. Jackie, let's go. I'm confident on my dish. I mean, I know the fish did not come out the way I wanted, but the way I plated it, it looked beautiful. That bit there looks like a dog's chewed at it. Why is it like that? What have you done to it? You know, I like my dishes small. I don't give a fuck what you like. Where's the other piece of halibut? Oh, I cut the end off. I thought it was too big, chef. 
Jackie that looked like a halibut had been thrown on the road and seared with the grill of a car. Two out of five. Piss off. After Jackie's poor showing, Ariel is looking to make up ground with her. Hand seared halibut and a bacon back for negret. Um, there's white wine to kind of add a sweet element to the dish. That's five for five. Thank Good you, job. Thank Brilliant. you so much, sir. Nice. Ariel, that's one of the most delicious dishes you've done so far in this competition. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Ready, steady. Roll. All right, ready, please. Let's go. You're gonna work it. First thing you gotta do is work the dough. Let the machine do the work, yes? I got it, I got it. Don't let it pair. Turn it nice and slow and steady. The teams must constantly keep the machine flour so the dough doesn't stick inside. Careful, Andrew. You jam that machine, Andrew, we're in trouble. There you go, there you go, Al. Each one of us is kind of just trying to flour our hands together, and I'm holding on to the machine, and I'm flouring. It was just so incredible. Are we ready for any spaghetti? Right here, Chef Bruce. Go, 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 go. Come on! Once the pasta is cut, it must be hung to dry without sticking or clumping together. Three minutes to go. Get it on. Come on, spin this thing. Who wants the prize to get out of the hell's kitchen this afternoon? There was so much adrenaline trying to get that pasta out there. I didn't even feel my arms. I was just trying to move as fast as I could. Jimmy, you look fucking delicious as a blonde. <laughs> I totally wish I could have jumped in and helped out. The only you know utensil that I had was my mouth. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Other way, other way. Just slice it and get rid of it. Let's go! Back to him, come on. It eventually just started wearing on my shoulders and uh, yeah, it hurt like hell. One minute to go. Ten seconds to go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop! Good job. Good job. Good job, Red. Okay, teams. Time to see. What's staying in and what's going in the bin? Blue team first. Only pasta that meets Chef Ramsay's standards will be counted. The team whose pasta weighs the most will win. Not bad. That's in. And this is all crinkled and one big blob. You know that's not going in? Of course. That's in. That is nice. That's in. Blue team, 2.41 pounds. Now it's time to see how the red team weighs in. Jimmy. Now that is immaculate. That's definitely in. Jesus. Yep, that's very nice. Blue team, you finished at 2.41. Red team, you're on 2.32. <laughs> it was really down to the wire. What is that? We can't cook that, yeah? That's uncookable. Another big knot. Pull that out. That's nice. Red team, you're on 2.39. Blue team, you finished on 2.41. So one left. My worry is with this, the bottom is lumped together. And that is usable. Red team. 2.45. Fuck. Oh. Can you please describe the dish? I made a fresh chive fettuccine and a cream sauce with some andouille sausage. And is the pasta made from scratch? Yes. Oh, wow. Smart. What's this on top? It's a fried eggplant skin. So that's something like I've never seen before, and that's what I'm looking for. It's mm -hmm. visually very nice. Very good. Thank you. Uh, Max, how many mission styles do you have now? <laughs> <laughs> not, not as many as you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Maxime Bourdain out there. I mean, wow, I'm impressed. Um, Abigail. I mean, it wasn't that spicy, but that was, like, amazing. It's very colorful, which is what I asked for. I would say the only thing, maybe the sauce didn't add anything to it. 
Interesting. Uh, police, Randy, describe your dish. Yes, chef. What we have here is a blackened uh, chicken pasta. Great. Did you make the pasta? No, chef. I just used the fettuccine we had. OK. Max, how was that for you? I don't taste any seasoning. And I think it's not as light as the, the Red Team's dish. Thank you. I definitely would like something lighter. Georgia, how was that for you, my darling? I thought that was so good. I love the flavor of the sauce. If you to choose the chicken dishes, is it from the Red Team or the Blue Team? Um, I'll have to go with the Blue Team. Interesting. Abigail? Red Team. Max? Red Team. Wow. Uh, Red Team, well done. Megan, great job. With the score tied going into the final round. 1-1. One, one. Let's go. It's down to the beef dish. It now comes down to Josh and Nick's chicken fried steak versus Michelle's steak au poivre. OK. Wow. Certainly colorful. We have not won one, two, three, four challenges in a row. So I'm just hoping Michelle steak is going to blow these high school kids' minds. OK. Uh, Josh, describe your dish, please. Chef, here we have a chicken fried filet mignon with a little Creole seasoning. Really? Why would you make chicken fried steak with filet? It's such a great cut of meat. Abigail, how was that? I like that you guys did, like, chicken fried steak, because that's different. You guys did good. Thank awesome. And I thought that you guys cooked that really well. It was delicious. Thank you. I think it's very creative. I just think when you fry something and you put a heavy sauce on it, it's not crispy anymore. Mm, interesting. All right. Uh, Michelle, describe this, please. Um, I have a filet beef au poivre with sautéed okra, a red pepper coulis, and a yellow bell pepper coulis. This is, this is filet? Yes. Oh, OK. Wow. I'm sorry, we used to have filet as well. I'm <laughs> just letting you know. Yeah, but you deep fried it. Mine is a lot more elegant than theirs, so I'm praying that they decide to choose my dish. The steak is very good. Thanks. But um, the okra is over seasoned. Oof, wow. Georgia, how was that for you? I love the simple elegance with just the steak. I like the way that looked. It was delicious. Nice. Abigail, it looks simple. Did it deliver in flavor? It tasted good and definitely like it had a little kick to it, which is nice. Right. It's 1-1. One, one. one to the red team, one to the blue team. It's down to the beef dish. Is it the beef from the red or is it the beef from the blue? Georgia. I like the flavor of both, but um, presentation and everything, I would go with the red team. Wow. Good job. Abigail. Sorry, red team, I'm going to have to go blue team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Max, it all comes down to this. The steak is better on the red team, and I like the imagination from the blue team. Tough decision. Um, it's your call. It's... Well, i got to go with the blue team. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Please describe your dish to Chef. So having studied a little bit of Indian food, I did a date chutney inside of the phyllo. I mean, I've never put uh, chutney inside a phyllo paste. I know. The uh, lamb has mango powder. That's good. Little Damn. seed on the dates. Oh, I fucking missed a seed. The lamb is cooked very nice. Bizarre, the old uh, chutney inside phyllo paste. Very bizarre. Uh, Latasha. I've prepared uh, seared lamb with a sweet pea and mint puree. Uh, lamb's delicious. It's very, very good. But the okra. It's undercooked, but otherwise, the other flavors are really, really good. Thank you, Chef. Let's score Aaron first, Chef, out of five. I would give him three. Aaron, a two. Crap. And Latasha, I'm going to give yours a three. A good four, I would say. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right, oh, I'm feeling good. I want to do a little Indian dance. Hey! Uh, seven to five for the red team. Next up, chicken, please. With the blue team down by two, Sade is hoping her garam masala chicken will receive a high score. Very nice, actually. Four out of five. Three. Three. Yeah. And she receives a solid seven out of ten, yes. while Sterling's chicken curry soup... It is not as fragrant as, as her dish. I haven't seen a soup like that anywhere. ...fails to impress. I'm gonna give that a one. About two, actually. Man, I got three. Womp, womp. Wow. Blue team, you pulled back the lead, 12 to 10. Cod, let's go. Now it's up to Bryant's Indian-inspired cod to maintain the blue team's lead. Basically a dry rub cod and some champagne vinegar. Where in the fuck did you see that in India? I think it is not pleasant. But his dish misses the mark. 
which gives Ro a chance to put the red team ahead with her filo wrapped cod. The filo place is wet. Yeah. Suck it. It's like eating a mouthful yeah. of wet tissue. But she also underwhelms. Amanda, let's grab your dish, please. Today, I made you a nice big portion of a stuffed French toast. And on the plate, we have a mixed berry coulis. It seemed a little bit raw inside, mm. not cooked all the way. Yeah. Very good point. Ready to score? Up next is the battle of the seafood breakfast dish. Danny presenting a crab cake topped with poached egg. It's a little bit overcooked, so you want that poached egg really nice and runny. Ready to go? Flakes? Wow. Uh, Chad. Chad has prepared scallop ceviche tacos topped with avocado mousse and fried quail egg. For me, the texture of the ceviche and then the egg, there's really not too much contrast. Okay. It doesn't deliver that sort of wow factor. Time to score. Come on, Chad. Like, what the fuck? Disappointing. Maybe it's not enough sleep, not enough little bing bang. I have no idea what it is. Uh, one of my favorites, meat. Let's go. With the red team leading by four, Kristen and Frank are next to present. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Frank. Kristen has prepared grits with maple and brown sugar sausage topped with a sunny side up egg. Um, I think it's in the right place. I quite like the um, sweet sausage against the grits. Yeah, I do. I love the sweet huh? sausage. The, the grits are, are soft. The egg is soft. The sausage has a little bit of bite. Interesting. Time to score. Thank you. Good job. Up next is Frank with his filet mignon on a toasted croissant. It's good. You know, it's very good. I think that the steak's cooked properly. There's crunch on the croissant while still having the layering and the butteriness of it. And nope. the eggs. I, the eggs are cooked just yeah. the way I like them. Yeah, exactly. Chefs, time to vote. Eight out of nine. I'm fucking working here. This is magic. You see, this is magic. I'm working here. OK, uh, final gourmet breakfast is down to the veggie. Let's go. Jackie and Gerard, please. We're all giving Jackie the benefit of the doubt, so I'm trusting her not to fuck this up. Jackie, please, explain. Um, today I have uh, a vegetarian eggs benedict. Um, hollandaise, uh, sauteed mushrooms, poached egg, and uh, a little bit of decal. Well, visually, I'm glad you told me what it was because I couldn't figure it out just by looking at it. Um, it looks pretty. David, how's that for you? All the ingredients are there, but if the seasoning was correct and it was played a little bit differently, that could be a, a great dish, but the execution wasn't there. It's a great shame because it's bland. It looks the part, but it doesn't deliver in taste or flavor. When I should have pictures, I completely fucked off right now. Let's go. What a shame. Literally wanted to fucking smack all of them in the face. Gerard, please explain your dish to the chefs. I have a Mexican tostada with black bean, salsa, tomatillo sauce, and a tomato salad on top. When I look at food, we refer to it as being tight. You know, you want it to be, you want to be able to see all the different ingredients. It's a little bit loose. Actually, nice flavor. Oh, wow. Tough on this one. At Blue Team, you need seven to tie and eight to win. Chefs, time to vote. Really good indeed. That is a win for the blue team.